Hi, welcome to Troy's Grow with Troy. I'm Troy, as you know. Uh, just a quick vlog. I had a delivery of all smoke last week, and it is well. I'll tell you what. Gone. I topped the last last bit in there. I've took that bar off there. I can have a good two loads in this now for next year. Well, for this year, later this year, the last lot is in here. So we do all right there. There's my wallflowers. Thanks to Steve and Bill from Bill and Val. Steve from Sunny Green Up as well. He got back to me. Uh, this is the front. Uh, sorry about the rubbish down there. That's got to go home from my dustbins. And tidying up as well, so don't have to take them today. Right, the potatoes. All my potatoes are all in. Top me, I've topped me uh, potato beds up with horse muck as well. There's only single potato in these four beds. Reds. I think one is coming up now. Already. So I'll put that as a big mound. That's empty. That is. So I don't have to turn that into a flower bed. So in the middle of each bed on these four is a red potato, single red potato. So I might chuck some more horse muck on there, just to mound it all up. There's nothing in there yet, in the middle ones. There's potatoes in those four beds over there. The peas, I think I'll land up pulling them out. I've sown some more, I have. So here's the front area of the shed. More wallflowers there, tulips are there. They're dying down now where my tulips are. My hyacinths, I'm gonna leave them for another week or two and I'll dig them up and dry them out for next season. I quite like them, so I'm gonna get some more of them in next winter. Here's all my garlics, they're doing all right. It's ready for a good rainfall. I gave it a good watering. On Saturday morning, I was down here at um, five o'clock in the morning. Gave it a good watering. There's my beetroot, they're growing nicely. My spring onions, they're in there somewhere. <laughs> I need to go in that bed and deweed it and deweed that bed as well. More red onions. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's go into the greenhouse. Two fuchsias, got them for a pound from Morrison's. Right in the greenhouse, Oof, just walked into a bloody hell, that's gone. Need to fill that up. Water. Here's on my sweet corns. They are from this, uh, what I bought from uh, Garden Centre a couple of weeks ago. Two weeks, two, two weeks ago. 99p. And they germinated. I think the only one out of two packets didn't germinate. So they did alright. Here's my broccoli, two peppers, parsnips, spring onions again, uh, three, three pumpkins, one butternut. Don't know about my bloody white cot. Oh, I sown these 17th of Jan. Look at the size of them. They take, they are slow. Even the Savoy, they were sown in Jan. So I don't know to do some more sowings, Bill. I'm going to ask you a question, or Steve, or any of me other watches. Leave a comment, say, show some more, or just, or just leave them. It's up to you, buddy, people. My Brussels, they're up there. Uh, there's more cabbages over there. Greyhound cabbage, they are my greyhound cabbage. Uh, my peas, I've sown these, I think it was last week I sown them. Two trays full. Here's all my flowers, here's my marigolds, my cosmoses, my lupins at the back, my teddy bears, my dahlias, and some more lupins, they all go to home. Uh, these are my hollyoxes, two trays of, just a tray of hollyoxes, two mixtures, and my geraniums, and my foxgloves. Out of that lot, 
this mixture. <laughs> so, oopsie daisy, I'm just blindsided myself. Uh, my carrot beds, oh, my parsnips. Oh no, not parsnips, sorry. I think these are turnips. Are these turnips? Yeah, my turnips are coming up nicely. Look at them, they're in there. I meant to cover them up last night. A piece of glass, I forgot. So I might do that later. My carrots are coming up. Can you see? My pear tree is blossoming them nicely. Look at that, my carrots. Hey, it was done two months ago. Not, won't be a lot of pears on this this year, I don't think. So I ain't got a clue what that is. It's some kind of flower. Look at my apple tree. It's just beautiful. Just hope the frost don't kill it. It's just a lovely f blossom. Uh, this one I planted last year, this apple tree. So, my rhubarb's doing pretty good. I've fed that at the weekend. I put a load of chicken pellets on. So, when next the end of the season, I'll, chuck, I'll fill it up with horse milk. I will get a good feed. Cherry tree. Finally blossomed, took ages that did. Other cherry tree over there. Uh, my leeks are in that one, two beds of leeks. I've finished my little brassica cage. I have, so they need to be topped up with all smoke. I don't know, or I'll just leave it as it is. The pumpkin beds are topped up. I don't have to grow pumpkins in this or grow them in the at the front like I did last year in the horse milk bin. Use that as all me, what you call it. Don't have to use that as me sweet corn. Two beds here, need to top up with compost. Need to top, top up with compost. Need to buy a big a couple of big bags of compost from B and Q. The big big ones. Uh, these all got to be sorted out, uh, my onions, all in here, what's this here, is this a weed? No, it's a leak, <laughs> don't know, I've got a leak in here, ain't got a clue. So, and all my thingy bobs down there, fruit cage. Comforts are growing back nicely, so I've got to... Take the trampoline down and mow the lawn. Mow all this lawn. Mow that lawn. I streamed it over day. Get ready for another cut. So I fed that to rhubarb over there as well with thingy bob. Chicken pellets. Uh, Tony O'Neill. Good friend, Welsh friend, Tony O'Neill. He said on a blog feed it with um, chicken pellets or horse muck but it was too late to put horse muck on so I thought I'd give it a good dosage of chicken pellets uh, I watched a good couple of blogs last night Danny from um, the grapevine grapevine over in Wales I don't mention him but I'm going to mention him this time so, go if you are a new prescriber, go over to him and test him out. He's got a nice little plot he has, Danny. Uh, there's also the Essex gardener, farmer, down in Essex. He does a community shop allotment. There's Tony, who I watch, Tony O'Neill, Simplified Gardening. There's Muddy Boots, Nigel. There's... Dean lost the plot, Dean Hood. Uh, I watch Steve from Dig Digwell Gardeners. Uh, there's Alan, the allotment here. Like I say, I watch quite a lot. Plus, I watch my Americans as well, so I'm not going to give them a call. Right. Thank you for watching. There's a lot of people watch does watch the channel but don't subscribe just press that little subscribe button just press that little bell 
notifications of every time you get a new blog. Be safe out there. We still know this COVID's about. Please subscribe and put your thumbs up. Take care, folks. Bye for now.